Hello, hello, my lovelies, and welcome to this week's episode. Hi. So it's Sunday morning. I do need to take this, record it even, um, go home and edit it and upload it for today because um, I run out of time, to be honest with you. I had plans for this week and um, it just didn't work out because I've been way too busy with work. But don't you worry because I have kidnapped my good friend Vera, who's already been on a video or two. Um, I've kidnapped her Fiat 500C, which means it's a cabriolet, a lounge, which means that it comes with a coffee cup. Nah, just kidding. She always drives with a coffee cup. It's empty in her car for some bizarre reason. Um, but it, it's a lounge edition. It feels like a lounge edition because of the beautiful print on the seats. Now, these cars are super, super popular here in the south of Spain. Where we live on the coast, all the towns are connected, so they're continuous, right? And um, you can get away with having a little car like this. So the engines are all like one liters, are they? One liter, 1.2, and more or less around 70 horsepower. So not very powerful at all, but really, really light. Um, obviously the more powerful sister, Lino, sorry, dogs in the car, licking stuff. The more powerful sister, which would be the, um, the Abarth, 500 get loads of those loads of those everywhere here but they are super super expensive in comparison to something like this i've sold a couple of these recently mainly to girls yes before you guys start but um they're super super popular because of the value for money because they do look super cute very girly now they're awful to drive in the rain literally it's like just don't accelerate, don't think that you're gonna be able to make that turn because you're not gonna be able to. They're not very stable. But like I said, for places like this, where it's just, you just go from one town to another, um, maximum you're on the motorway for, you know, 10 minutes because they are quite loud. There's not much insulation. They do rattle a little bit, a little bit, especially these, which are the cabriolets, which I'll show you now. So the roof goes all the way back, which is fun and cute downside to that is it does leave you with an awfully small boot the boot is tiny like you'd struggle to get i don't know a suitcase in it i've just found reverse i'm just driving around my organization by the way i'm not <laughs> gonna go anywhere today because i don't have time but i did want to show you this car because not only in case the four girls that follow me would maybe be interested in buying one but because if you guys are going on holiday anytime soon now they're all getting vaccinated and borders are starting to reopen and whatnot um if you are going to getting a rental car there's high chances that this may be one of the most economic versions of rental car that you'll have available just before you all start freaking out i am inside my urbanization I'm not going over 20 kilometers an hour, but the dog wanted to be on my lap. <laughs> you know, say hi to everyone. Say hi. There we go, behave. So if you were to strip this car down, you would find the same as if you were to strip a Fiat Panda, which obviously doesn't feel as luxurious as a Fiat 500. Fiat 500, there's a lot of design in it. The steering wheel's nice and chunky. Again, it's just a really, really nice car for a little run around. You wouldn't want it, again, if you had, you know, kids because it's only a two door. So you'd have to, if you've got kids in the back, space wise just wouldn't really work. Um, if you needed boot space, it wouldn't work. If you're a single gal or guy, come on, and you're just looking for a little run around and something that's really easy to park, park it everywhere. I do think the Fiat 500 is a great choice. It's Italian, so that's always questionable. <laughs> that's always questionable, but no, all in all, they are great little cars and I would highly recommend them, either for rental cars, just for plodding around, if you're going anywhere nice, um, on any vacations anytime soon. I hope you are, I'm desperate to go on holiday. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait to go on holiday. I can't wait. So 2020 has nearly come to an end, right? 
It's nearly done. We're nearly there. We're nearly through it. Most of us survived. I do have a few more grey hairs due to it, but um, all in all, been a good year. And I want to talk. Why is this moving so much? <laughs> this old car's moving. Um, sorry about this. It's just the engine vibration. I would um, quite enjoy this actually. I'm gonna hook up with uh, Feather. I am, and we're gonna, I don't know what car I'll be in, but I wanna have a good chat with him. I wanna have a good catch up on camera, see what 2020 was all about, and see what plans we have for 2021. Ah! I am gonna leave you in this little clip, a little test of what I've been up to this week. I'm going to, um, I recorded, managed between clients the other day to record a walk around of the new Ferrari Roma. I did go for a drive in it, but it was work related, so I wasn't able to film that, unfortunately. But the Ferrari Roma is not a Ferrari? I don't know. I don't know. She looks like a Ferrari, kind of. She smells like a Ferrari. She also looks like an Aston. Design-wise, interior looks a little McLaren-ish, but um, I will try and do a video, if not with me driving it, at least a video of me inside the car explaining all the controls and stuff like that soon. Um, but for the meantime, I must go because this car's rattling way too much. So I will see you all next week, hopefully with Fuzzer. Bye guys.